The capillaries permit the exchange of nutrients and wastes between the blood and tissue cells. Capillary exchange occurs via three basic mechanisms. Diffusion, transcytosis, and bulk flow. The most important method of capillary exchange is diffusion. Oxygen, carbon dioxide, steroid hormones, and other lipid-soluble substances pass through endothelial cell membranes. Glucose, amino acids, and other water-soluble substances diffuse through intercellular clefts and fenestrations. Transcytosis is used to move small amounts of large lipid-insoluble molecules, such as large proteins, across capillary membranes. In this process, substances contained in vesicles enter endothelial cells by endocytosis and exit by exocytosis. Bulk flow is the movement of large volumes of ions, molecules, or particles between blood and interstitial fluid. The movement occurs when a pressure gradient pushes water and dissolved solutes out of or into the capillary. Bulk flow is always from an area of high pressure to an area of lower pressure and continues as long as pressure differences exist. Substances in the flow move in unison across fenestrations and intercellular clefts. Fenestrated capillaries allow more bulk flow than continuous capillaries. Tight junctions at the intercellular clefts of continuous capillaries allow little bulk flow. Most solutes can cross with water. However, most larger proteins and formed elements in the blood, such as red blood cells, cannot pass through the fenestrations of the endothelial cell.